Hi, everyone. This is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a collective love reading for all signs and any sign that you may be thinking of. Please use this reading to manifest the love that you're worthy and deserving of or to confirm a love that you have um, in your life right now. Today, I am going to be pulling some initials and some numbers, seeing if those connect to you or who's coming into your life. And I'm also going to be playing a little bit of bingo. So stay with me. Let's see what spirit has for you today. Let's see what messages spirit wants to share with you. Happy Easter, everybody. If you're seeing this on Easter Sunday, um, so grateful that you have been guided here. Welcome everybody. Welcome back spirit. Please share with me any messages. What's coming for love. What do you want us to confirm? I am listening for you now. Let's see what we have for loving messages. Lead by example. Be the best that you can be. You know, keep your head held high. Wear your invisible crown. All of those things. Be the best you can be. Love is your energy. You know, people are guided to you. Someone is going to be attracted to you because of your energy. We talk about that all the time. It, it's much more important um, than your looks or your personality. It's this kind of vibe that you generate. It's this aura around you. Um, that is what we are attracted to. Likes attract like. If you want the person that you are worthy of, you've got to be worthy and deserving. So be the best person that you, you can be. That's all. Because then you're going to attract the person who's your equal. And that's, that is just a reminder. And let's get one more. I have choose love over fear. Letting go of the fear. Letting go of anxiety, stress, worries. And staying in gratitude and just knowing that, you know, good things come to people who are good, right? So you're all amazing. You're all loving. You're all kind and you all deserve the best. Let's see what Spirit has for you today. Spirit, please share with me what loving messages you have. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for your kind words and comments. And again, if you do celebrate Easter today, um, Happy Easter. Happy Easter, everybody. Let's see. Let's see what we have. I have four swords. Recuperation. Queen of Wands. I have a, a Knight of Pentacles. And I have an Eight of Cups. So I like this feeling of taking time. I'm going to say it that way, okay? For those of you that have done the work, doing the work, or constantly saying, I'm working on myself right now, you know, those are all healthy places to be. You know, we all take turns in our lives at different stages. Sometimes we have to heal. Sometimes we have to grow. Sometimes we are filled with excitement and good news and uh, celebration, but they're all healthy stages. And we have to go through all of them in order to be where we want to be or be the person that we want to be. I do like the key word for Knight of Pentacles with trust in this particular deck. Um, it, it is a, a feeling of you know, somebody coming into your life that you can open yourself up to spiritually and emotionally, open yourself up in your energy to, but that it's a it's an energy of I can trust this person. And I know that is something that we struggle with. That is something that when you lose trust in someone else, it's really hard to give that kind of blind trust to a new person. But I am feeling that whoever spirit's putting in front of you, um, I'm going to say, you know, maybe it's for the first time that you can really trust this person, that you've done so much work on yourself that you know the difference between right and wrong, Spirit just said. And you know when somebody is worthy of you, a judgment, look at that, the sense of I'm, I'm moving forward. There's truth, there's justice. I feel like you can really trust this person. Eight of Pentacles, somebody who's willing to put in some time into you, somebody who's willing to um, put in the effort. And there's this sense of um, I give to you and you give to me. I trust you. You trust me. And over time, we work hard at um, becoming better and better in this connection, becoming more worthy of this connection. So there's definitely um, there's definitely truth in this connection and trust. Like those are priority. If that's something that 
something that you need in your life. I want you to claim that. I need truth. I need honesty. I need somebody who's willing to work towards that effort with me, along with me. That is what I want you to claim. I have an ace of cups. I feel fulfilled is how that came into me. I feel a sense of fulfillment. I have struggled with other relationships in the past that didn't fulfill me. I struggled with things that... Um, weren't worthy of this relationship, you know, whether, whether, what were worthy of your time, I should say, whether it was, we struggled financially, we struggled, um, somebody had some illnesses, they could have had um, mental issues, so to speak, they could have been controlling, narcissistic, they could have been depressed, they could have been um, addicted to drugs, and, and those things interfered with your connection. So it created a sense of insecurity in the connection. But the spirit saying this is better. This is a relationship built on trust. This is more satisfying. It is more um, open. It's you feel like it's more of a gift coming into your life. And um, even if we do have struggles, I feel like the love is going to get us through anything. Even if you know, in sickness and in health, I feel like we will get through any struggles. It's it's kind of it's different because we're working as a team or a partnership. We're in it for the long run. We believe in each other, Spirit just said. So there's definitely a sense of I trust you and you trust me. And I feel like that is the most important energy right now. Let's grab let's grab some initials. Now, just to um, say something about the initials, if uh, you don't see your person's initials, this is a general reading for everybody, okay? I like to include a little bit of evidence in my readings. I like to give you some clues every once in a while. If you don't see your person's letters, just keep listening and, and listen to what does connect to you. That's all, okay? I have the letter X. If you see your person's initials, great. It's a confirmation. I have an M. I have an, um, I have an F. I have an M. I have another X. I have the number seven, seven weeks, seven days, seven months. I have a two. I have an A, a T. I have a Q. I have a B, six, June, June, July, another six, 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 another Q. We'll put those together. The letter K, I have a second F, I have the numbers. So these could be a first initials, last initials coming towards you. I have a letter H, I have the number one, one week, or the number 17, another seven, but I feel like I want to say 17. So let's see what else Spirit has for you today. So this sense of trust, partnership, our love will get us through anything. I love that. Also, the sense of fairness, the sense of um, equal. I think equal is probably the best way to say it, that you're my equal, that I treat you as my equal, something along those lines, like no one person makes all the decisions in the relationship. I feel like that's important to know. I have clarity. There's the truth. The truth comes out, seeing things clearly, okay? Um, something that's solid. You know, there's, I, I always want that person to come towards you that when they say something, they mean it, okay? That you don't have to second guess it. You don't have to look into it. You don't have to read between the lines. You know, it's just a sense of the truth always comes out. I mean, that's something I say all the time. And and I'm, I'm going to say the truth comes out. And, you know, what is the truth today? You know, I love you. I mean, the truth comes out that I love you. I, I want you forever. I, I have a forever, um, forever wishes, you know, something like that. Um, uh, the truth comes out. Spirit is saying you are protected. Blessings are given. The angels, deceased, loved ones, ancestors, spirit guides are close to you. So, of course, today being Easter, how beautiful just knowing that the spirit world is with you. 
um, is guiding you? Is is my whole body just tingled? Um, is guiding you? How gorgeous. Surrounding yourself with friends, acquaintances, stability, advice, a busy social life. Now that's coming into me as, of course, this person's going to become your friend, your lover, your everything. But also this feeling of there's the equal give and take. There, that's important in this reading. That, that is really um, a big message. Um, the this feeling of our friends are our friends. You know, like we're we become the center is how I feel. And then we have like all these friends around us and we do other things with your friends and my friends. And, and it's like a collective energy of a group of people. So it's really fun to hang out with these people. It's really fun to have like these new um, people in your, in your life that have known your person for years and vice versa. So I feel like these new friendships are very important to this connection. And, and it's a lot of fun for both of you to enjoy that. I have a dis difficult decision coming, a crossroad, doing what's best for you. Now, we all get to that crossroads where we meet somebody and we say, is this the person that I want to be with? Is this the person that I want to spend time with? Is this the person that um, I'm open to and um, that I want to see things clearly? But it is a feeling of the truth comes out. I'm going to say it that way. I think that, you know, right now it's just an energy of I see this love. I see this clearly. I'm seeing you for who you are. I'm seeing us for what we can be. Um, I, I'm going to say there's no holding back. I'm, I'm going to say it that way because I don't feel a lot of back and forth energy. I feel like we meet and it, it's working and then we make a decision to, to continue. Like, let's continue on this journey. Let's, let's continue to make this work. Spirit's asking for some more. At bottom of the deck, I have timeline is spring. Thank you. Timeline is summer. Okay. So we've got some, some timelines coming in. Those could be important to some of you and the time it will happen within a month. <laughs> All right, let's grab the springtime love. Okay, springtime love, it's happening now, happening soon, something like that. Um, but I, I'm definitely going to grab that. That that sounds very um, encouraging. And I'm going to kind of claim that. If you want a springtime love, a summer romance, claim it. It's yours. I want a springtime love spirit. Let's see what else they're saying. Spirit, please share with me these beautiful heart cards. Let's get this one that's sliding off my deck. I have this beautiful connection. And it says a romance. Cupid arrow strikes. Absolutely. Let's get a couple more of these. These are always pretty. They're just kind of difficult to shuffle. I always have a hard time shuffling them, but that's okay. I have this beautiful connection. I have a sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. So we feel sexually attracted to this person. We feel physically um, in tune with this person. We are one. I think that that's always important. And let's see what else. I've got one other beautiful connection. And I have a sacred union, an honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. We, we definitely want that. We definitely want that. We want a sacred. I always love that feeling of a sacred union. Like this is meant to be. And this is, um, this is bigger than the two of us. Let's take a moment. Let's do some bingo. Let's do some, what I'm going to do today. I have these bingo cards. They're kind of um, old fashioned. They're antique bingo cards. I don't know where I found them in some big barn up in New England at an antique shop. Um, and um, let's grab a couple of these. And then I'm going to actually just ask Spirit to help me place um, some some markers on the numbers that have meaning in your life. So these could connect to you. We're going to try these today. They could be an age. They could be a date. 
Um, they could be an age difference. They could be anything connecting. So think outside of the box also, like what do these numbers mean to you? Um, they could also be a year like, um, you know, 1958 or 1967, you know, so keep that in mind also. So I've got this bowl of markers. I am just going to ask Spirit now to ask me to place the numbers and we're going to see what number spirit has spirit saying 39 thank you spirit let me see if 39 is on any of my other bingo cards um spirit saying 44 okay let me see if there's another 44 i'm not very fast so give me a give me a chance um spirit it just said 23 i'll take a 23 let's see if i have 23 anywhere else i have 43 43. That's important, seems like. Let's see if we have another 43. We do. We have three 43s. So that's kind of a, not quite a bingo. We're not going to do a full bingo. We're just going to grab some numbers. Uh, Spirit just said the number five. Okay. I've got the number five, the number five. And let's see what else they're saying. They're saying the number 30. I'll grab number 30. This looks like number 30 here. And let's see if there's a number 30 on the last one. Okay, and let's do a couple more. Um, let's see, Spirit, what do you want me to do? I have 52. 52. Um, okay, only 152. And then let's see, let's get a couple more. Spirit, uh, what do you want? You want 11? 11. Of course, 1111 is always important. They are saying nine. Nine is important to somebody. And here's two nines. And let's get let's get two more. They're saying the number 34. 34. Let me see if there's 34 in any of my other ones. I hope I got them all. If I made an error, that's okay. But the number 34. So these numbers could have meaning in your life. They could be birthday dates, ages. They could be your person's birthday date. If they don't have meaning, they're just a clue. Just keep that in mind. I'm just trying to give you some different things. And let's see what spirit has for what sign your person may be today. Spirit, can you share with me what sign or person could be coming towards us? Please use these readings to manifest the love that you are worthy of or to confirm what sign could they be? I have, they could be a Taurus. They could be an Aries. They could be a Capricorn, an Aquarius. I have a Virgo. And I have a Leo today. If it's not your person's sign, don't worry about it. Take what connects to you, leave with the rest behind. Spirit, I want to go back to this sense of equal give and take. Also, the truth coming out. Tell me about the true um, energy about this connection. What is the true energy in this connection? What is it that you need me to see? I have a nine of swords. You've had some fear. I have a, an, an emperor. I have a Knight of Pentacles. There's the truth again coming in. And I always see that coming into me slowly, steadily, um, learning. I have a Page of Cups. So I want to tackle this, this Nine of Swords just for a moment. Can I have some clarification on that Nine just before I, I dig into these other cards? I just want to see what I'm really feeling. I have a Hermit. Yeah. There is a sense of I'm afraid to be alone. That could be you. That could be them. It is a sense of I worry that I'm never going to find the right person. I worry that it's not going to work out and I'll be alone again. Um, I'm going to say those are normal fears. I'm going to say those are things that everybody worries about. But, uh, you know, we do these reading each day because spirit wants you to override those fears and they want us they want to show you that through time and effort and growth and your own belief system that there's someone for everyone and here is this beautiful like i have feelings for you um and i'm not gonna hide it like this emperor is <laughs> I'm going to say brave and courageous, you know, as opposed to the person who comes into your life that 
struggles with their feelings or I don't know how I feel, this person I feel like is going to say, you know, I, I definitely am attracted to you. I, there's something going on here. Um, and then the truth, I think, eventually comes out over time um, with the sense of I love you, you know, and I have a sense of forever with you. So this is somebody who I'm going to say it just builds it that trust builds that equality builds that give and take um, is so important to the stability of this connection today. I have a wheel of fortune. I feel lucky that I found you and I am excited and ready to start this. So somebody who steps forward and says, I really want to see where this goes. I really want to get this started. I'm really excited. I've met you. Um, and you feel it too. You feel it too. You know, the person who finally comes into your energy and you think there's something here, you know, whether it's the first few dates are going well, the first communications go really well, you enjoy talking to this person, you're looking forward to seeing this person. So I'm going to say, you know, luck is on your side. Um, you know, this journey's ready to start. And also this gorgeous sense of sacred union that they had said to us, I must confess that I'm in love with you. I, I think that your emperor is going to step forward. I really do. I feel like your emperor is going to say, um, this is this is bigger than both of us. Words can't express how much I care for you, how much I've grown to care for you, how much I'm growing to love you. Words can't express it. Everything reminds me of you everywhere I look. I also like when you're kind of, um, you know, thinking about somebody and you keep asking spirit to show you signs. You know, you say, show me signs that this is the person I'm supposed to be with. And everywhere you go, you see their name or you hear their name or you see something about them or, you know, and it's like, OK, I'm getting the signs. I'm getting the signs. So I do feel like spirit's going to give you the signs and, and you're going to be very open to seeing them. Um, we have known each other before, our soul connection. We've traveled this path before. We've tra traveled in other lifetimes. I always love that. And I know deep down that you are my one true love. So is it destiny? Is it fate that's brought you together? Is it luck? Is it, is it everything? This is a sacred union. Something about the truth coming out, their true feelings coming out. They could just say, "You're my true love. I'm the. I have forever wishes with you. I have a forever uh, future ahead of me with you." And I don't feel like this person is going to hold back. You found your equal. You found somebody you can trust, and you found somebody that there's. You're going to build a sense of foundation and stability based on this give and take. And I think that that is so important. I want to thank Spirit for these, these messages today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. I'm excited about this reading for you today. Comment below, claim it. Um, if anyone would like to book a private reading with me, check out my website at kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.